What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video, we're going to be taking out a look at an app called Sip. Now what this app does is basically allow you to pick any color on your screen with a color picker and then copy it to your clipboard. Now before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to the developers for giving me a free copy of this app to review. The app itself is actually free, but to get the pro features, it's $9.99, and I emailed the developers, asked them if I could do a review on it, and they gave me a free copy. Now the app itself sits in the menu bar, and you can see if I go and click on it here, that another menu drops down, and you have two options at the top. The first thing you can do is activate the color picker, and if I do that, you'll see it just brings up a magnifying glass, and I can hover over any part of the screen and grab that color. And then if you select something, it's going to copy that with a little sound effect. And something that's pretty cool is that you can see when I do that, it actually changes the icon to that color. So if I go to the blue and I have a shortcut to activate it here, I can pick the blue of ScreenFlow and you can see that it changes the icon at the top. Now another thing that's really cool is you can actually bring up the system color picker. This is super helpful if you're in a website or somewhere that doesn't have a native color picker. You can pull that up and if you have different colors stored or you're just used to using that, you can do that as well. You can also decide the code that it's going to copy in. So I have it set to CSS hex, but you can change it to RGB, RGBA, and a whole bunch of other ones here, as you can tell, going all the way to Swift in different languages, which is super helpful A, if you just want to change what it's copying, but also if you're a developer and you're trying to get a certain type of code, you can set that as well. Next, you can change whether it shows your color history or another palette that you have stored. And I'll get into that in just a second. So as you can see, I have the Max Square brand. So if I was using that a lot, I could change it to that and it would always show those colors. But I really like having it on the color history. So if I just pick something random here, like the male blue, it's going to appear there as well. Now, one of my favorite things about this app is it's really easy to use, super clean, but it also has those really fun sound effects that you're probably hearing as I'm copying the colors. And it also comes up with random names for your colors, which is always fun to see what it's going to choose, like United Nations Blue or UFO Green. Now, taking a look at the preferences here, you can actually set how many colors it stores in your history. You can change whether or not it plays the sounds and the size of the magnifying glass and zoom. But one of my favorite things, and this is actually a pro feature which I was talking about before, is if you go to the color dock, it actually stores a little dock here on the left of your screen. And you can change that to the right side of your screen, or if you have multiple monitors, you can change that. But what's really cool is that you always have that and it, this just floats on top of anything you're watching, which is really nice. It's, it's out of the way, but when you need it, it hovers over pretty big. And you can actually click into that palette and copy one of those colors. Now what's really cool is if I hover over this and select the slider icon, it actually brings up all those colors. And I can click into any one of these and select that edit icon and change the RGB and the CMYK, all those types of things, and mess around with that. And what's really cool is if you're a designer, you can actually tell it to send that color to the foreground or background in Photoshop or to the fill and stroke of Illustrator. And like with pretty much everything in this app, you can set everything to be a shortcut so I can have it copy the fill to illustrator with the alt click shortcut or to the foreground in photoshop with the command click now this of course is all customizable in the shortcuts tab so if you head over there you can actually change what brings up the magnifying glass and then you can use different shortcuts to move it over a pixel or shift it over by 10 pixels so for example if you pull it up and you're trying to get the exact pixel you can shift that over with the arrow keys or hold down shift and move it over a bunch now, like I said, that whole side of the app with the palettes is a pro feature, so you will have to upgrade in order to get that. Now, one thing worth mentioning is that this whole app is really useful for just getting a quick color reference and grabbing it, using it. But if you're a designer or you want to get the exact color, I would recommend getting the palettes and putting in those exact colors in there because all that the app is doing is getting the color from the color profile that you have set. And that may vary from computer to computer and you may not get the same value. A couple things I'd like to see change in the app is the ability to send those colors to another app, maybe like Experience Design or Sketch, and not just Photoshop and Illustrator. Another thing is the ability to share. Now I know currently with the Pro features, you can actually share via email from the color palettes. 
but maybe even something in the main menu that is for the free version that just allows you to maybe message or airdrop or something like that, or maybe even tweeting your colors, who knows. One thing I say in all my reviews is that this wasn't sponsored, and yes, they gave me the app for free, but I still had to make the video. So I really enjoy playing with it, and all that everything I said was just stuff I came up with as I was using the app. They didn't tell me to say any of that, and they're not paying me to say any of that. But overall, I've had a ton of fun playing with this app. This is still one of the best color pickers that I've been able to find in the App Store. So be sure to check it out. Links down in the description as usual. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.